a friend of mine is self-taught creative, not me, obviously, uh, with 10 years of graphic design and brand building experience. They're struggling to access higher level clients. What recommendations do you have for them? Yeah, with this one, I was a little bit unsure whether that whether when when the questioner was talking about higher level clients, whether it was talking about higher level brands or whether it's higher level people working within the within the brands. So I've actually kind of taken this question as um, as being about accessing higher level people within yeah. with it within organizations. And the key for me here is really the same as with any communications challenge, which is to put yourself in the shoes of your target audience. So in this case, these higher level people, they're very busy people. Um, you need to be aware that they're getting heaps of cold approaches from, from people every day. Um, but, and this is where you come in, they have business challenges that need solving. They're busy, they're getting approached by a lot of people, but they do actually have problems that need solving. So my advice is, first of all, to make your approach 100% about them, not about you. So I get things all the time and people just telling me, you know, telling me how great they are. I'm like, yeah, and what's the relevance of that? What's the relevance of that to me? So make it about them. Um, do your research. So if you're going to make it about them, you've got to really understand as much as you can about that brand or even or even that person so do your research and that shows when you make an approach that it's not just a, a yet another cold email you know the worst thing i get is people going i love the work that you do and i often write back and go so which piece in particular do you like and i can go through yeah <laughs> okay so well, we won't be talking anymore um and then another key piece here is to be to be business focused so we're creative people but remember the people that you're approaching they don't really care about cool creative for the sake of cool creative. These higher level clients care first and foremost about driving great results for their brand. That's that's what they're there for. That's what they have to do. That's what they're accountable for. So you've got to excite them with the unique ability that you have to help them drive those results. That's the key thing. So you need to then try and speak more the language of business to some extent and balance that business and creative creative bit and the thing i think you'll find is that it's still actually surprisingly rare in this in this industry to have people who can balance those two things speak the language of of business and be truly creative so if you can nail it um you'll be in you'll be in high demand that's my suggestion that is very good there is um just finding the link there's a, a quite a good podcast with David C. Baker and Blair Enns um, on, they call it Conversations on the Art of Creative Entrepreneurship, which if you haven't seen yet, is definitely worth a look. And they talk about like business quite a bit. Uh, weirdly, it's called twobobs.com, uh, but there it is in the, in the chat. Uh, Amy, anything else you wanna add? Um, no, I, I think you're being on as far as turning up and, and addressing the creative and the business side it's absolutely something that i see within our community and creative sort of struggling with but i think if you can develop both sides and deliver it in a way that is authentic and genuinely showing interest yeah. um you know yeah. that is something that even we get you know oh you do such great work okay so tell me more what's the great work really demonstrate that you've done the hard yards and you've gone that extra mile and um showing that you're i guess you've got a certain level of buy-in yeah is so shows so much more value um than i guess just the enthusiasm or just the creative capacity as well yeah. and, uh, uh, just the thing i would like to add to that is that that i'm definitely not saying a about that you need to be posturing as a pure commercial and business person the thing that's exciting here is being that sort of you know off the off the wall interesting unique creative person but being able to speak the language of the language of business mm -hmm. that's i mean that's one of the most exciting things when i see when i see dave droger the ceo of accenture that's that's a brilliant example of this yeah. That's someone who's who's arguably one of the most brilliant creatives of our time, but he gets business, he speaks business, and he therefore is able to go in still with that brilliant creative mind, 
but be talking with the CEOs and the leaders of the biggest organizations in the world. That's, that's exciting. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's made me think of, it's old, but uh, the, have you ever read The Trusted Advisor? Uh, which is like, it, it's quite old school by David Meister, um, but it talks about how you kind of build relationships in business with quite a few other people. I'm taking um, notes of these, taking notes yeah. of these wise books. I'm popping doing. it in, popping it in there in the chat. Um, I don't know whether that's the best link, but once you've seen it, you can find it. It feels like David Meister built his website in 1980. Uh, hasn't changed it much since. But a very good book on becoming a trusted advisor. I don't know, I've been both sides, client and agency. And as soon as you can start talking about how you're solving problems for your clients, not just, you know, selling them how great something is going to look, then that's suddenly where you're in a much better, much better place.